What's up guys, Garage Max out here. Today I'm gonna to be installing a garage door opener on the garage door behind me. Uh, this door does not have one, and with the lift here, I had to go with one of these jack shaft style uh, garage doors. I actually had a contractor come out and ask them how much it would be to install one, uh, but it was really, really expensive. I went on Amazon and, and found this for about a third of the price. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and give it a go. Before I do that, if you guys like my videos, please like, subscribe, and ring the bell so you get notifications of my upcoming videos. Got a lot of cool stuff in the hopper, so please go ahead and do that. Without further ado, I'm gonna go ahead and open it up and lay out the contents so that you guys can see uh, what one of these RJ, RJO20 style garage door openers includes. So let's get started. Okay guys, just unpacked everything. I'm gonna go ahead and give you an overview of everything that's in here, just so that you can kind of get yourself acclimated to all these parts. Essentially, we've got the garage door opener here. This is a collar that's gonna go onto the jack shaft of the door and clamp onto here so that I can actually turn it. Uh, and then we've got a couple of cool things that I really like seeing with, with this kit. One is this automatic lock right here. And this is gonna to connect to the garage door so that the, to the opener so that when it's closed, it locks, which is a neat feature. Um, and then you've got your sensors here, obviously. Uh, these make sure that the door won't close with something in it. And this one is kind of the same thing, but slightly different. Essentially, this is a tension uh, sensor, uh, and you're gonna put it next to the cable that goes down, and it will make sure that if there's slack in the uh, in the garage door, it will actually stop the garage door uh, from closing. So essentially, you can picture that as something gets stuck underneath it, maybe you walk underneath it, garage door comes down on you, and make sure it doesn't crank down, keep cranking down, which is kind of cool. These, uh, which are uh, screwless or boltless connectors to mount these sensors, which is pretty neat, uh, your, 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 your console piece here, this, this goes next to the door and gives you your close, open, timer kind of functionality. Comes with one garage door opener, kind of disappointed that it didn't come with two. Um, that that kind of sucks, but I, I can pick up some more of these on Amazon, so I'm not too worried about it. Uh, and then this, which is probably one of the reasons if you've already bought this kit, if you, you bought it, this is a MyQ device. And essentially what this does is it allows you to connect this to a wireless router or a hardwired router, uh, and then you can use a phone app to open your garage door. Probably actually why they only included one, they figure that most people are gonna use their phone. I like putting these on the sun visor and I don't wanna have to dig out my phone, so um, I, 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 don't know if, I don't know how many people actually use this versus just having it as a cool feature. Uh, the reason that I'm gonna like it is I'm gonna download the app and it will tell me if the garage door is open. So if for some reason I drive away, shut the garage door, but then, you know, for whatever reason the garage door opens back up, I'll be able to tell if it's open or closed. So that's that's a cool feature. And then lastly, obviously your packet of various stickers, safety stickers, uh, your instruction manual, and all that good stuff here. And then hardware to install all this stuff. So uh, definitely a very complete package for what you're getting here. Uh, I'm, I'm really impressed with the quality of the, the feel of everything so far. Uh, I like what I'm seeing. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna jump right in. Uh, and we're gonna start by fitting this piece against the garage door uh, and making sure that it fits with the situation that I have here. Okay, so the first thing that we're gonna do here is you're gonna have your collar and it looks like this can be used on either side of the door. I'm gonna put it on the right side of the door and so the collar is gonna go on this side and it fits just on there like that. Just make sure that these are loosened up. And then I'm gonna finger tighten this up until I have it perfectly mounted. Uh, and there's actually only one place that the unit needs to be mounted to and you use this little elbow here. So, just mounts onto the side just like that. And we'll go ahead and get it up there. Okay, so now we're up here. Just trying to figure out 
good way. Get this thing up on here. Okay, so for my installation, I'm gonna give you guys a little visibility here. For my installation, I'm gonna run into a small problem. I'm gonna have to drill through some metal here just so I can have this seated properly. Um, but I'll go ahead and do that real quick. Okay, so next we need to install this guy here. And this is gonna go right here, I think I'm gonna put it. Basically, you can put this on top of any of these wheels. Um, and I think I wanna put it right here on this one. And they include some cool stickers uh, to give you, give you a guide as well. Uh, first thing I need to do though is remove the old one. Okay, so they include one of these little templates, which is pretty cool. Let me see if I can get this thing to focus on it. And basically this just gives you an idea of where you can put it. So I'm gonna put mine right here. And then I'm gonna use one of these. Okay guys, uh, I did have to take a little trip to Home Depot. Essentially my step bit uh, only went up to half an inch and you need something that's a little bit larger to make this hole. I'll show you the hole, uh, but essentially it's gotta be big enough for the bolt to go through. Um, and my step bit was just a little bit too small. You could probably uh, use a Dremel or something like that, but I really like these step bits, so uh, I wanted to just get this for my toolbox anyway, uh, so I went ahead and grabbed one. So we're gonna use this to to finish off this section. Okay, tough to get a shot of the next step, but essentially we're gonna be installing this. This is a safety switch. Uh, basically it stays open, it stays open like that, and when it closes, uh, that means that the line is loose, uh, effectively saying that there's something stuck under the door, and so it will trigger the door to stop. Uh, and this is gonna go right here. Now, I I've got a little bit of a unique situation here and move this around so you can see it. Now, it's very tight back here, but this is where it needs to be. So I'm gonna put it here and we're gonna see if I need to try a different location or if it hits the door or anything like that. So we'll, we'll give it a shot.
Okay, next thing we're gonna do is install the uh, control box here. I'm gonna put mine next to the garage door because I walk by this uh, every time I put the car away. Some people will wire it over to the actual like door, the person door, uh, but I, I want mine next to this door uh, for, for a couple of reasons. So uh, we'll, we'll go ahead and just put it in here. Okay, one of the last steps is installing these motion sensors. I'm gonna put mine right above the wheel. There's like a, a wheel in here and that'll help me uh, calibrate it with the other side. And basically, this guy's got just a carriage bolt on the back. And you put it in here like this. This is just until I can get an electrician out here. Uh, it's supposed to be six feet or less from the unit itself to an actual plug. I'm gonna test it and program it with this extension cable, uh, and then I'll get somebody to put an outlet up there. time and we're done.
Okay guys, that's it. So got this thing all hooked up and I, I just gotta get an electrician out here to wire me a new outlet, but it'll work in the interim. Got my remote control here and the thing is pretty quiet. I mean, it's quieter than my other garage door and it doesn't seem to have an issue. My, my door is 12 feet by 12 feet. So um, seems to be working very well. Hope this video helped somebody and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.